Okay, this exercise is the leg press. So for this purposes, we're going to make sure that we, when we're doing the leg press, we're focusing on the quad muscles. So the leg press focuses on the extension of the hip joint and extension of the knee joint. So quads and glutes. We're focusing mainly on the quads. So the key thing to remember here is we have our feet at the bottom of the pad to use our quads, rather than the top of the pad, which we're using more hamstrings. So I'm going to just demonstrate this on Paul. So the key thing to remember is we're going to look at our active range of motions for the quad on this, on this machine. So in order to get their knees lower, which people think is important, you'll see people put their feet right up at the top of the pad, and you'll see that they spread their knees apart and they rotate their hips underneath. So what that does is put their spine in a weakened position and it puts more focus on the hamstrings. So we want our feet lower and we want our glutes firmly into the pad, low back tight against the pad into a set position. Now a good thing to trick to figure out where your active range of motion of this is, is if you take your pad, your foot off the pad and bring your knee towards you, that's about your active range of motion. Any further than that, using gravity when you're rotating your spine which isn't a good thing so remember this position that's your active range of motion anywhere further than that you're not going to be able to contract your quads so start by pushing the weight off so what we're going to do is we're going to take a slight bend in the knee put tension on the quad we're not going to lower it yet first thing we're going to do is we're going to bend that knee and we're never going to go any further than that we're then going to put tension on that quad, so I want you to flex that quad, keep that tension all the time. So when, now when we lower the weight, we're not going to just relax and let the weight fall, we're going to make sure that we're keeping the tension on the quad, so slowly lower it whilst keep, keeping tension on the quad. So this is going to take some getting used to, so you need to keep pressing the quads to make sure they're there. That was our active range of motion, we're going to pause there, and then we're going to squeeze the quads so that it pushes back up again. Okay, squeeze those quads, then short block out, and again, Keep tension on this quad all the time, slowly lower it, keep tension on the quad. That's an awkward movement to start with for most people. Okay, squeeze, and slowly down. So if you break that, okay, can you break it now? So you, the first time people try that, you'll, you'll find that they can't lower the pad without taking tension off the quads. It's good to practice that with your feet on the floor. You can practice driving into the floor with your feet apart and that will initiate the quads and you'll feel that tension on there. It's something to practice at home, in the gym, and, and you'll find that you get the hang of it eventually. And then you put more and more weight on it. Because the key is that all during that full range of motion, you want tension on the quads. What most people do is they lower it using gravity with no tension on the quads. They then throw it up from the bottom catch it at the top. So then they've got tension on their quads 25% of the time. I want tension on my quads for the full amount of time in that way.